Okay guys, uh, we've had a request to um, demonstrate exporting animations from Maya into Unity and I also wanted to um, to demonstrate exporting from Maya to Unity. I didn't get a chance in my last video so um, this is going to cover both of those topics. So I'm going to animate this little sphere into a bouncing ball and then I'm going to export it to Unity and um, that, will that should cover both scenarios. So, um, animating the sphere, I'm going to, you know, obviously I've taught animation already, so you guys can look that up. But I'm going to go through it a little faster, since we already know how to do that now. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it the clean way. I'm not, I'm not going to pollute my channels with the S key. So I'm going to right click and key select it on my translate Y. And then I'm going to scrub to, let's go to, I don't know, maybe 30. So one second. Uh, well, actually, I think it's on 24 frames a second at the moment. So whatever. Uh, let's just do that. So 24. 24 frames per second is what it's currently set to. So I'm going to scrub to 24, and then I'm going to scoot this up. Um, and then I'm going to right-click and key selected. Then I'm going to scrub to 48. Nice, nice round numbers, keeping it simple. Um, and I'm going to scoot it down to the floor doesn't have to be super precise it's not, not a big deal but key selected um, although what I want actually what I do want to do is be precise with my my ins and outs because this keyframe is the last keyframe it needs to be identical to the first keyframe so I should have just typed it in that would have been faster anyway all right so bam we have a bouncing ball but it only bounces once so let's loop it um, for the purposes, looping it for the purposes of Maya preview, animation editors, graph editor, um, because we want to adjust the keys here, curves, post infinity cycle, get our looping. Um, and I've already turned on view infinity. Um, I did that earlier. So view infinity, cur you know, post infinity or curves, post infinity cycle. Um, this is just going to allow us to hit the play button. In fact, let's just that big all right means we can hit the play button and preview this as in Maya um, the looping actually doesn't translate across to unity you have to have to turn on the looping checkbox in unity which we'll get to there but anyways let's change this a bit let's uh, just adjust this Oops. Um, grab this key and maybe do a flat tangent and then have these um, let's hit, the, hit the F key let's just have these point a little more, a um, little bit more abrupt. Boink. There we go. Boing, boing, boing. Now it is still a little bit slow. It's it's bouncing a little slow. Um, but you know what? Let's just let's just roll with it. That'll be fine for now. All right. So let's take this animation. Let's take the model and the animation and export them for Unity. So let's go to uh, so let's select the objects and let's do file. Oh, actually, yes. Let's also make sure that you guys understand the plugin manager. So window settings, preferences, plugin manager. Now you have to go here to turn on the FBX export if you want this to work. FBXMaya.mll. You scroll down a bit. Um, turn on loaded, and then I turn on auto load because exporting to FBX is something you'll have to do pretty often if you're working in the game industry. Um, both Unity and Unreal um, import FBXs. Now, you may also want OBJ export on as well. Um, if you're going to ZBrush, you need that. Um, a few other programs. This this is like the most common, most easily imported, exported model. It does not contain animations though. So if you're going to try to do an animation, this is not going to work. Um, so, and that's one of the reasons I like it is because it is extremely simple. There's very little to it. It's just a model. Um, so, anyways, keep, uh, keep that in mind if you need to troubleshoot putting a model in a scene. But if you need animations, you need the FBX Maya. So close that window. And now, because I've done that, I have the ability to export selection. And it's going to allow me to, um, to choose FBX from the drop-down menu. Um, so FBX export, uh, this would not be here. This ability to drop down an FBX F export would not be here if we didn't turn on that plugin manager. So here, you see there's a lot a lot of options here. FBX would not be in this list, or nor would OBJ if we didn't turn on those checkboxes. So FBX export, 
um, you'll see I you see my path is already set up to path it to my unity project folder um, so as soon, if I export directly into that folder it makes my life a lot easier um, unity just immediately imports everything so I will export this as bouncing ball demo and it's gonna give me a warning here animation curve tangent type um, plugin has changed so the animation curves tangents now it, it's trying to make it more compatible I guess it's basically tweaking my animation curves I'm not sure how I feel about that but I haven't re done enough research to figure out if it's really um, going to be a problem yet um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and close the close the error and just ignore it for now and as long as it looks okay in unity then I will like, take it for what it is so I'll minimize Maya and then you see here um, unity has has automatically imported this whole this whole scene the, you know the two objects that I exported I can drag it right into my window oops let me turn off play apparently I had left play on um, let's try that again so yeah so drag it right into the window and bam and in fact I can even zero this out to put it right in the middle of the scene and I will set up my camera to look right at it and um, now here's the trick this is the thing that I think some people were probably getting a little confused on uh, understandably so first of all um, you want to click on the asset in the project window so now this is my my model now now here in the model it defaults to showing the model properties there's also this animation properties now I could ch turn on some stuff like you know collisions and so forth um, but I'm not going to bother with that right now because I have this camera aimed right at it. So, um, anyways, this, these are the model properties. Now, if you go to the animations properties, import animation. That's on by default, I believe. Um, it's possible I turned that on during a previous uh, video. I'm not sure, but import animation. Um, if it's not on, make sure it's on. Um, now, it, it defaults to showing this take one. Take one. This is our animation that we put on it, which is awesome. Um, makes makes it a lot easier it's already got an animation applied to it loop time I'm sorry no it doesn't have an animation applied to it but it has this listed as an animation that that is available to play on it so and look you could even right here just you can even click down here and see this animation in a um, in a window that you can you know kind of rotate around now you'll notice it didn't it didn't loop quite right um, Possibly because we exported the entire timeline. We'll have to look into that. But anyways, uh, so we got the import animation. It's still, if you hit play, oh, I hit apply, sorry. If you hit play, it still doesn't move. And then um, now this is where, where um, it gets tricky. Um, and this is something that I had to like kind of scrounge for to figure out what the hell was going on. If you look at the asset in the project window, there's a little like play button next to this asset. It's kind of, you know, you wouldn't necessarily think this is actually a button, but it, it actually flies out. Um, I don't know if that that GUI, that interface is terribly intuitive, but there's a bunch of settings and, and or things inside of here that, you know, you can toggle open. And when you fly this open, this take one animation is right here. You have to drag that onto your model. Now, when you drag that onto your model, it creates this other little node here. Um, now, if I hit play, bam now it plays and, it, and you see it does loop so that's it I mean that's it now you now you can kind of uh, put animations onto models in unity I, uh, I again I don't know if you necessarily need to go to this this trouble if you um, I, I need to see something animated in your final projects but you could do it in unity I mean I do I did demonstrate um, in class how to animate in unity um, that's just fine. It's it's quick and dirty and easy. Maya is a more powerful animation editor, and you see that it does have the the, the curves. You know, you, you can tell that it is bouncing the way that I had set up those animation curves. So it, it seems to work just fine. Um, so do it whichever way you would whichever way you like. If you want to animate in Unity, that's fine. If you want to animate in Maya, that's fine too. Um, and now you know how. And now you know how to export from Maya directly into Unity as well. So. Hope that was helpful. Good luck, everybody, and uh, look forward to seeing your finals.